they have to go to a, uh, a one of those uh, what do you call them? One of those it's like a it's like a learning facility for people that like get in trouble at school, so they go to like this like alternative school. Yeah, they, I was about to say you went to alternative school. Don't you know what it is, motherfucker? Don't be making up names for it. Your ass went to a damn alternative school. Man. I know because I've been to one before, so that's I'm like, uh, hey, you know, you're trying to use different words and shit. No, I'll call it what it is. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, man. It's the truth, though, you know, and it's, it, it was one of those humbling experiences because, you know, I'm sure you probably felt the same way you're there, and there's a lot of crazy kids at the school that got into, like, you know, some serious trouble, you know, for drugs or whatever. I, I'm just there trying to get free, you know. I'm just trying to get this degree so I can, you know, take, you know, go into the Air Force, take my ASVAB test and whatnot. And yeah. It was weird, man, but, um, yeah. yeah. You're right. You know. That, like, that turns to school, man, there's that, some crazy kids. Like, I had to go to a turn to school because, I so-called inspired a riot after a football game, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like, the guy was, like, being dirty, you know, doing dirty football, like, twisting my ankle on button and pal, punch me in the dick, you know, uh, under the pal and stuff. So, I, you know, I politely told him, hey, 24, if we lose this game, your ass is mine. I said that to him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we lost the game by field goal. <laughs> So That's when awesome. we were, like, shaking hands, you know, doing the lineup, I fucking speared them, and I started beating his ass. So after that, everybody else started jumping in, so it just became a big brawl. I had to go to our training school. So I go to our training school. <laughs> they was all like, hey, so where you in for? I said, I decided to ride on the football field. He said, why the hell are you decided to ride? And I was like, you punched me in the dick and, you know, twist my ankle up in the pile. He was like, so this is after school hours? I was like, yes. And then he was like, well, son, I don't think you're supposed to be here. Well, damn it, I feel the same way. And, you know, you listen to all these other kids' problems. Like, you know, this kid up here is stealing her grandmother's uh, pain pills trying to get high off it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know, I'm like, okay, how the <laughs> fuck are we in the same boat? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I yeah. understand. I'm like, that's some bullshit. <laughs> It's crazy, man. You know, it's, but mm-hmm. I mean, man, I don't blame you, man. I would have done the same thing. You know, if somebody punched me in the dick. I'd be like, it's on, man, motherfucker. Yeah. That shit's on. Yeah, at least but, I told him. You know, hell yeah, let him know. You, you gotta let yeah. him know. Mm-hmm. But um, so you're coming off that win over Maximo Blanco, and I was talking about this before he came on. You know, Maximo Blanco for a while, people were saying he was gonna be like the next big thing at lightweight, and you know, mm-hmm. he took it to him, and he kind of he kind of ran away a little bit. You, you were frustrated, yeah. You know, after the fight, I know you kind of. You know, you kind of mocked him a little bit, and then, you, you know, he flipped you off or whatever. Um, what exactly happened yeah. there? Oh, uh, see, um, I did a lot of study on Maximo uh, before before we uh, fought. So, you know, uh, when Maximo wins, he does bat flips, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, right. he usually wins by his knockout. You know, even when it goes out to a decision, you know, he starts bat flipping because, like, you know, he won, you know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, I'm frustrated because, you know, mind you, I was a 3-1 to one underdog. And, you know, how I, I was always told that when you get in the UFC, do not be on the forums, do not Google yourself, do not, you know, you just don't right. do it before a fight, you know. Okay, of course I did all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so... So, you know, I saw how, you know, people was playing me like, you know, I'm a, you know, kind of soft. Like, this guy's going to run through me like finish line tape. He ain't got, uh, I ain't got shit for him. Uh, I'm going to get raped with no Vaseline. Oh, man, I read all the comments, you know what I'm saying? And the man, that pissed me off so bad, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, now he's in my face. He was right here, we in the cage. I was like, okay. I don't know what's going to happen. He's supposed to knock me out. I'm going to knock him out, but, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to show him I ain't no bitch. So when I attack, I just notice that he started running. You know, I was like, okay, this is just hot. <laughs> so, you know, I was like, I don't know, maybe he's trying to set me up for something. So he just kept running, kept running, and I finally called him with a cross. I'm like, yeah, but I missed with the hook because he was running, and then he went for that takedown. And the one takedown when he took me down and I popped right back up, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, okay, this is what you want to do. You want to play this game. You know what I'm saying? So you want me to press you in, and then you're going to uh, go for the takedown to try to score our points. Okay, that shit's not going to happen. So that's when uh, that's when I pursued, but I was kind of hesitant because I knew that's what he wanted to do. And every time he went for a takedown, it was just to shove him off. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he was backing up so much, I wasn't able to 
I really wasn't able to do anything, and that really frustrated me. Now, you know, the old Marcus Reynolds, the impatient one, when it went off and started chasing him, and then he would have to take down and all that stuff. But I was like, no, nope, I'm going I'm to I'm be right here. I'm going to chase you just for a little bit, but you're not going to get the take down. And it just went like that all the rounds. You know, he kicked me in the face twice. You know what I'm saying? That was good. Not going to lie. That was good, you know. But uh, the rest of the round, you know, it was just it was just a game of tag, and I was it. Mm-hmm. Definitely, man. And you know, you played the right the right game plan. Like you said, you know, you didn't get overly frustrated and kind of run, you know, towards them and get taken down. You know, you did what yeah. you had to do to get the win. And now mm-hmm. I think you like two and zero in the UFC, right? You got the win over Stephen Bass, and uh, you yes. got the win over Maximo Blanco. So you know, you're, you're building up a streak there. Um, has there been talk, you know, of your next opponent yet, or you not uh, haven't gotten word yet? Um, uh, right now, uh, my manager, Alex uh, Man over there, Alchemist, uh, big shout out to them. Um, he told me to be ready by September 1st uh, in event in Vegas. So I'm just uh, training and getting myself better until then. No doubt, man. And, you know, coming off that uh, Ultimate Fighter show, and that was, you know, I, I have to say, man, you're probably the, the, the best personality on that show. And there's a lot of personalities in that house, but. That one quote you had about uh, was it Dragon Ball Z and Naruto. I can't remember what you said, but I was, uh, I was laughing yeah. for weeks. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was talking about uh, I was talking about how these little kids run around talking about Naruto is better than Dragon Ball Z. I was like, man, fuck Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. And I was, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I got some heat for that one. All, all Naruto fans were like, man, how the hell you gonna talk about? I said, hey, 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 hey. First of all, Dragon Ball Z is the fucking greatest. Okay, now, all the other animes come after Dragon Ball Z, you know what I'm saying? And you know Hell what? Yeah. I actually looked at Naruto. Naruto is good, but they got like 40 episodes of bullshit that is pre- uh, completely irrelevant to the sagas at all. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, dude, like seriously, why can I watch a cartoon, watch a cartoon series? I can miss 40 episodes and I come back and then... I come back to a certain episode, and it's like nothing happens. That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you miss 40 episodes of Dragon Ball Z, you don't know what the fuck's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, exactly. Yeah. That's Hell yeah, man. Happens. Dragon Ball Z for life, man. I, I was back there playing the, uh, the video game before before going on the air here, man. You know, getting getting my Goku in there. You know, Super Saiyan dude, 3. Dude, I'll tell you, I went... I went. I went back home to Alabama. Uh, my coach that was in my corner, uh, man, Chris Conley, like his son, like got Budica, and he don't realize that Budica actually came out when I was in high school. So you know what I'm saying? It's new to him, but right. it's not new to me. You know what I'm saying? I played when I was in high school, so he, so he was talking like he's gonna beat me. So you know how you're supposed to let kids win? You know to build up their confidence. <laughs> Hell no, you gotta Fuck smash that them. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit every time, dude. Hey, I was like, here with your man, man, Wade. So I'm like, oh, come here, man, bitch. Boom. He's like, Fuck. He's like, you're hitting too hard. I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, uh, you're gonna take this. Get in the gun. Boom. I was like, yeah, take that. Final flash. Boom. I said, like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here comes the spirit bomb. Boom. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Hell I know yeah. this is your house, but get out of here. <laughs> That's the way to do it, though. You gotta, you gotta prepare those kids for the real world, man. It's mean and nasty. Yeah. You gotta let them know. Just tell me yeah, that's what I Disney. do. You know? This ain't Disney, baby. This ain't Disney. Hell no, this ain't Disney World. Yeah. It, 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 it's a mean and evil place, is what it is. You know. Next thing you know, you're walking yeah. down the street, boom, you get hit with a freaking uh, gallic gun, spirit bomb, whatever. But um, yeah. <laughs> 